Our green roof keeps our home warm and comfortable in winter, and cooler in summer, with only fans. In five years we have saved a few thousand euros on energy costs and carbon. Earning back the costs in a year and a half, one summer and two winters, the season when we spend most on energy. And we gained a lovely green roof and view. Initially I laid out the cushions to spread out the weight, and because I only had a few. But in summer it allows the roof and house to release the heat of the day, that is why, it works great. A great time to start is the autumn, our rain season so the plants can settle and grow and bloom in spring. You can grow herbs in winter and strawberries in spring. As it turns out the plant cushions work even better in summer than winter, you don't have to wait until the autumn, just choose your plants wisely, local fat plants and cacti. Once you have good survivors, they are easy to propagate. Many fat plants bloom, attracting bees and butterflies, and change color in summer to deep reds. And only in summer, they need watering, like once a week. I have many cushions with carpobrotum. They are ideal because it covers more than the cushions and bees love the big beautiful yellow, purple or pink flowers. But keep them on the roof, as they are an invasive species. Carpobrotum or pig face, is easily harvested from the countryside, making space for Maltese indigenous plants. I always pick up fallen prickly pear leaves, when I go out on hikes, and plant them on the roof. They thrive, but no pears yet. As my inspiration, a patented design was very expensive, I designed my own plant cushions, with the simplest, cheapest and locally available materials. Improving and experimenting over the years, with mostly materials from garden centers. Using slow coffee bean ground as fertilizer. I started with layers of shading and weed mat, 1 meter by 1 meter. Then a slab of mineral wool covered with bark and peat as plant food. For tie wraps or cable ties, fix the corners with clothespins and slide the tie wraps in using scissors. Put it on a grid of bamboo cane or reed for drainage. Check out the step-by-step -step instruction video on this channel. I added one plant cushion at a time, room after room, adding the shading as a cover layer to keep the plants cooler in the summer. With the great savings and benefits of the green roof, I went looking for greener materials, starting with the virgin plastic shading and the insulation layer that kept going up in price. The limestone colored shading is the first material to wear and tear. Not all plant cushions or all at once and after a year or two, but it does not look nice. I do recycle our torn carport shading. I tried burlap or jute but that lasts only one year. Gifted thick quality peanut bags fare better. I have grow bags or pouches, which are expensive, but made with recycled plastic and textile, so an eco-friendly alternative and food safe. They seem to stand strong in the Maltese weather, I bought them when they became available on the island, late in 2021, and they still look good. Do lift the big bags by the handles. I now mainly use them to grow strawberries for avocado pits and vegetables. I checked out the recycled material in limestone color, but importing it from the states, in the minimum but massive numbers, is not an option for me, as I have plenty plant cushions already. An alternative for weed mat and shading is artificial grass, pure plastic, but also antibacterial, so worth testing as grow beds for herbs and strawberries. A bit hard to shape into a plant cushion, and a bit heavy, but looking pristine after two years. I bought Dutch leaf bags as ready-made plant cushion bags. But they are made of virgin plastic, and they are dark green. That was late November 2024. We'll see how they and the plants hold. The insulation layer, also the most expensive part, is the mineral wool. Which sounds natural, but actually takes a lot of energy to make, and cannot be recycled on the island. I found more eco-friendly mineral wool, without formaldehyde, at Big Mat, Ta Ali. They also have foiled mineral wool. Skipping two layers of plastic, the weed mat and shading. But it tears alas, exposing the mineral wool. They also turn out to be fantastic grow beds for pines and carob trees. As I cover the plant cushions earth with pine cones and carob pods. I planted hundreds of them, first in bunches together, which makes them grow really fast. So I will have to replant these in bigger pots, every few months, to give them more space. As they grew so fast I changed to planting five babies evenly. In the special high, square plant pots, 
that Grow 10 Trees also uses. I get them from Piscopo in Burmarad. The carob trees are flourishing as well. I planted from November onward, but even the ones planted in March are doing well. Adrian from Grow 10 Trees advises to plant in October. I am now experimenting with organic materials as insulation layer, such as pine cones. And this is definitely the happiest wild thyme plant cushion on the roof, I made it in November. On pine cones, covered with bark and compost, wrapped in weed mat, and the cover is green geofilter. I replaced some of the torn shading with more geofilter late April, so it is now being tested. It is white or greenish. In February I collected washed up seagrass balls from Adyera and Shimshia Bay. As replacement for the mineral wool. Plus seagrass balls were successfully tested as fertilizer, so it should add to a nurturing environment. I left them out in the rain to wash the salt out. And made the seagrass balls plant cushions only in late April. Late in May, I made plant cushions with organic sheep's wool as insulation layer. Sheep's wool has good thermic performance and retains heat better, which of course in the Maltese summer might prove to be too much. It is available as weed cloth at Piscopo in Burmarad. Our roof is cooler under the cushions during the day when the sun shines. Once the sun is gone, the uncovered roof is cooler. So I lift the plant cushions with star-shaped drainage grids to let the heat out during the night. It will be easy to test the sheep's wool plant cushions temperature. Sheep's wool weed cloth is half the price of organic hemp weed cloth. Experts say hemp's thermic performance compares to mineral wool, plus, it has better moisture management. I made the hemp insulated plant cushions also in late May and will test with organic weed cloth on the plant cushions as well. In the Netherlands, I have plant cushions made with cocoa mulch mat as insulation layer used by professionals that make sedum roofs. I bought it as winter cold plant cover and haven't seen it on the island yet. Last but not least, because not importing goods is also good for the planet, I replaced imported bamboo canes by fallen giant reed from our valley regeneration project in Weed Saituna. Before that I used 2 cm slats for the plant cushions near the roof's watering holes to assure rapid drainage during massive rains. Thank you for watching. Please watch the how to make plant cushions video in this YouTube playlist and keep me updated on your roof gardening adventure.